Thank you, Tony. New tonight, the founder of the Me Too movement visits Roger Williams University to talk about how this all came about. The movement took off on social media in recent months with the help of celebrities, but it actually started years ago. I would assume supporter Kim Kalunian was there during the speech tonight. She joins us now live in Bristol. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, the woman behind this viral hashtag spoke to a room of about 500 people here tonight at Roger Williams University. She says the Me Too movement is really just beginning, and even though it's been a part of the public discourse for about four months, she says there's still plenty to talk about. This is the face of the woman behind the viral Me Too movement, the hashtag that swept social media by storm as women speak out against sexual violence and harassment. Tuesday night, Tarana Burke told a packed gymnasium of onlookers about what inspired the hashtag decades ago. The story of a teenage girl approaching her when Burke was 22, telling her the horrors she experienced at the hands of her stepfather. The only thing I really wanted to say to her was, me too. Now with celebrities tweeting the hashtag, it's become a part of the American lexicon. On October 15th, 2017, when this thing went viral, it was the most unexpected thing in my life. Burke says she'd been working as an activist for decades, a slow, steady process. People ask me, what, what did you feel like the day when it went viral? Scared? That's the truth. I felt like this thing that had been my life's work was about to become a pop culture moment that will be fleeting here today and gone tomorrow. She asked those gathered Tuesday to do their part. Let's heal our communities together. Let's get active together. Let's support survivors together. If you are ready to do that, I can only leave you with these two words. Me too. And Burke tonight said she wants to dispel the notion that this Me Too movement is about taking down powerful men. She says, in fact, that she'd like to move the conversation away from those perpetrators and focus more on the survivors and fixing the system that's allowed these problems to occur. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.